And guess what? It's time for another Terraria Max setup video. And you know, the stat we're going to be looking at today is a little different in a norm, as it doesn't really buff your actual character in any way, but instead improves your ranged weaponry from a utility point of view. Yes, maximum ammo conservation, or preservation, either one. Now, as this is a bit more niche than some of the broader stats like Max Crit, you can totally run most of today's setup alongside any other endgame build, well, providing you actually benefit from it. Before we do jump into it though, if you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, as it really helps out the channel. Right then, let us begin. Now, the interesting thing about ammo reservation is, for us to really get anywhere significant, we need to be using a weapon which already has some baked in, of which the actual selection is smaller than you think, with stuff like the Vortex Beater and Phantasm being the top two, and stuff like the Terraformer coming with very little. Either way though, we're going to want to increase this even more, first by looking at armour. Now, funny enough, there are only two pieces of armour we need to be looking at, the Chlorophyte Helmet and Vortex Breastplate, as they aren't actually any leggings which provide this stat, so just play it safe with some Vortex ones. Now, despite the Vortex Breastplate requiring post of materials to craft, with the Chlora Helmet coming in post-mech boss, this can genuinely be a helmet you might want to stick with throughout the game, with it providing a lovely 20% chance to save ammo. And with the Breastplate, we get an additional 25%, which, wait a minute, will easily put us over the 100% chance to save ammo, right? Well, not quite, as it's about time I explained that all ammo reservation figures are treated as independent events and do not stack. So at this point, if we were to be using the Vortex Beater, technically speaking we've got around the 80% chance to not consume ammo already, which you'd think means we're off to a crazy start, right? However, if we were to next turn our attention to bows and one of three quiver accessories, we can add another roll of 20% ammo reservation. And while these can be obtained with relative ease by farming skeleton arches in your underground hallowed, don't get too excited, because they don't stack. Ah. Either way though, this extra 20% will get us now to around an 84% chance of not consuming arrows. Are you starting to see why this stat's such a troll? Anyway, before we get all bogged down by this, there are two more of probably the easiest and most accessible ways to increase ammo reservation by another 40%. An ammo box and ammo reservation potion. Thanks to 1.4.4, these beauties can basically be obtained at any time in your playthrough by straight up purchasing the ammo box from your arms dealer for 10 gold, thanks free logic, and for the potion, by just fishing up some common old double cod from your jungle and some moon glow from underground. With this, we're done, actually, and with the Phantasm at least, hits a maximum of an 89.76% chance to not consume our arrows. And this maximum is actually restricted to just the Phantasm, as it's the only bow with a baked in 66%. Still though, without this it's not as tragic as you think, with weapons like the Mega Shark draining ammo much, much slower, and of course tools like the Terraformer saving you plenty of the ever so valuable solution. So I guess the question now is, can we do any better? And well, if you're willing to sacrifice any perks of custom ammo like Chlorophyte and Luminite, you could just get a 100% chance to not consume ammo by crafting either an endless musket pouch for guns or an endless quiver for bows. And the good news is, this only comes in at the very, very cheap price of 3,996 ammo of each type respectively. And with this not even requiring an accessory slot, all your worries about ammo sustainability are suddenly removed. But I mean, so is your maximum damage potential. So I guess it really depends on what you are after, because while you could save some Luminite with that near 90% chance not to consume ammo, you have to remember that the extra bullets it'll take to kill those enemies thanks to the armor sacrifice will quickly equate to net neutral if not a loss. So if I were you, I'd very simply just run the box and potion no matter what, and add the magic quiver on if you're using a bow. Simple. And so there we have it, maximum ammo reservation in Terraria. Not the most exciting stat, but definitely not one to be fully ignored in your playthrough, especially if you're going through ammo as quick as I am here. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.